I just thought everybody knows how to make bacon and eggs. It's gonna make a beautiful salad. Oh! See, I put them off where the coals are. I'm making a potato salad that has no carbs in it. Peggy and I had a show on Christian Broadcasting, and one of our favorite guests was Beverly Nye. On this particular show, she demonstrated how easy it is to pickle vegetables. Yum, yum, right up my low-carb alley. I'm going to show you a recipe today you can't fail with. It's my Grandma Shale's Farm Relish. Oh, it's so good. Yum. Now, these vegetables are always in season, so you don't have to worry about it costing you a lot. You want one head of cauliflower, nice pieces cut up, mm -hmm. one pound of carrots, some green pepper, maybe two or three, some onion, two or three, and a bunch of celery and cut it all in nice bite-sized pieces. And then I just put it in a bowl and kind of fluffy do it together till it's all well mixed. And I do mine in the little jam-sized jars again because that's just right for my husband and I now that all the kids are gone. So take your jar and into your jar you're gonna put one little hot red pepper. Now this gives it that good bite and you want that. Ooh, it's so good along with Those things. are in like a produce department? Yeah, you can get them in little cellophane bags okay. and you just drop one hot pepper in there. And then we have to make a brine. Now in our pot, I've got two cup, or two quarts of water, and we're gonna add one quart of the white vinegar and three quarters of a cup of pickling salt. You wanna dump that in? You now use the, white vinegar. Right, the reason we use white vinegar is that won't discolor your vegetables. In all my other pickles and whatever, in I this? use, do yeah, I do? Oh. right in there. <laughs> and we just stir that up till it dissolves and bring it to a good rolling boil. Now that's important. We want the nice cider vinegar because it's white, the vegetables stay clear, but as I said, in all the other pickles, always use the brown cider vinegar. You get a good flavor that way. Okay. But this way, we don't want a lot of flavor from the vinegar. We've got the pickling and the hot uh, pepper in there that's gonna flavor that. The reason we had you use the pickling salt is that that doesn't have an anti-caking agent. Now, when you buy a box of salt at the grocery store, it's got an agent in it that keeps it from getting to a hard lump, you know, and it mm. stays, uh, free-flowing. Hmm. Well, pickling salt doesn't have that. It's also not iodized, so that way you're not going to have any cloudiness in, this, in the uh, brine. Now we'll take a little jar. Whoops, we are gonna, we've got a pepper in here. We'll start here. And just fill your vegetables up into the jar. And after you get a bunch in, if you give it a little shake, then that kind of settles them down. And your pepper's in the bottom. Now, if you see some red peppers, instead of all green, you might use some red, and that Pretty. adds some pretty Pretty's color. Pretty. the top. Right, now, after our jar is full, we're gonna take our boiling liquid and make sure that's boiling. That's okay. crucial when you can. You'll dip that into there, and after you put the boiling liquid in, your little flats for your lids should always be sitting in hot, boiling water. And by the way, when you put your flats into the pan, put, well, let's just show the audience here. You got the rubber ring, yeah. and then you got the flat side. So alternate them in your pan. That way you won't have two sticking together and you can't they pull don't them come apart. apart. Right. Okay. right. Did you so, sterilize that? I run them through the dishwasher. If you got a dishwasher, you're okay. If you're just washing your dishes in the sink, they should be at least scalded with your tea kettle. Okay. So lift your hot lids out, put those on after you've put the boiling liquid in, in there. put your lid on, and then screw your ring on and screw it on as tight as you can get it. Then we're going to lower them down into our canner and ha again have that boiling. Have your water boiling, lower the jars down in there, and once they get down in there, you don't have to wait till it to start to boil, but start timing for 10 soon minutes. As 10 soon minutes. as you put them in there. Now for pickles, you start timing the minute you put it in. So you lower your jars down in, set your timer for 10 minutes, lift them out, set them over on the counter on a towel. That's all there is to it. Now be That's sure you it. check your jars. Can you see how that's dented in kind of? Right, and then you know it's sealed. That's all there is to it. And stick them on your shelf. Adore who you are. Adore where you are. Adore who you're with. <laughs>